in 1 Corinthians 14 where it says women should be silent in the church, I think we always have to say um, context is important to determine what that means. And, and uh, you know the old saying, a text without a context is just a pretext. Again, I can make anything mean whatever I want it to mean if I don't establish the context. So what does silence mean there? I think silence there means speaking with authority. It can't mean saying nothing. And we know that because in 1 Corinthians, uh, the apostle also talks about women praying in the church. He talks about women singing in the church. That is, there is corporate singing that occurs. And people share their testimonies. There's no gender reference there. But in speaking with authority, there Paul brings into the church the order in which the family and the church are related regarding gender. And he is saying, in the home, the husband is the head of the home. Now, that doesn't mean he is the dictator in the home, but he is the one accountable before God to see that the home is a place where God is honored. And the wife is supposed to be supportive of him in that role. Now, for the wife to be in a support position and the man to be in that authority position in the home, but then it reversed in the church would seem to be inordinate. And so when it comes to be the instruction of the church, how are we to receive the authority of the word? Paul gives the authoritative proclamation of the word to men. And that's why uh, many churches for most of the last 2,000 years have said the ordination offices, that is the, the proclamation of word and the presentation of the sacraments, whereby the authority of God is presented to the church, that's, that's reserved for those who would be authority not just in church, but in home as well. But that's not to say that women are not to participate. Uh, again, Paul is fairly explicit about women having roles in the corporate life of the church, but not in the authority position. So I know it sounds maybe odd, but when the word silence is used there, I don't think it means saying nothing. It means not speaking with authority regarding the proclamation of the word.